G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. fast because they will almost like you calling a, your dog in and they just swim straight back at you and they'll get back here and then realize there's humans here and they'll take straight off again. Very quickly, so you just got to let them, let them go. If you can get their head out of the water in there. Still great fun. No teeth in the bonefish. So you can just push that in. Very strong in the mouth for grabbing and holding on, crushing crabs, shrimp, and things like that. So, uh, yeah. perfect. Well done. Thanks, mate. Good eyes. Shrimp starts on. You'll notice a bit of sign language you've got to learn before you come here. A big strip, short strip. Get it in and worry about another fish. School that you can just see and it is uh, lots of different shadows from reef and things like that and you've also got a school in this case it's that light it almost looks like a, a green or a blue and uh, it just sort of moves and we've got to try and get in front of that but at the moment it's just a little bit out of casting range wasn't sure what I'd got then and then uh, you get that little run you go oh yeah it'll be a bonefish of some sort and she's got nice and warm there we uh, pulled the pin there for a little while there's a lovely little part of the lagoon uh, on, the, on the back end there of Paris flat and it's perfect for swimming perfect for swimming and, uh, you get back into the fishing now once this school sort of has come back in around as the tide comes in and uh, Perfect for uh, getting in some of these bigger bones. You stopped. It's that customary, but they swim back towards you. you. Just try to keep that pressure on. You do wonder whether there's a fish there until you can catch up, and then you'll feel that weight again. About now. Oh, and then he doesn't like being close to humans. There's probably only a little one I'd say. But bonefish are just amazing fish to, to catch. And we've had just a cracking day. We quite often get a lot of wind at Christmas Island, but today has just been an ex exception. It's just lovely. There's no, no breeze really to speak of. Crystal clear water and some lovely bonefish. It just makes for a, just an awesome day. Down. We go reasonably heavy with the tippet. I've got about 18 pound on now um, and just sort of helps to put a bit more pressure on them and you can tighten that drag up a lot more than uh, probably what, what you needed to just to make sure it, it gets the fish in a lot faster and uh, looks after them a lot better and also gives you a little bit more protection around some of this coral and things like that as well. Once you can get them up to near the top, they're nearly good to, to 
what they call leader ring so you just grab the leader and you can pull them in but he's a uh, he's still yeah like a like a lovely fish there that's probably be a you know, three pound i guess just solid muscle solid muscle and just with that mouth the only way they can eat is just tilt their head to get things off the bottom they're always bottom feeders so they don't tend to uh, chase Sorry, I don't tend to chase things mid-water or anything like that. But I'll just give you a look at his uh, mouth in there. There's no teeth at all. And I'll just use that. Very powerful as well. And I'll use that to crush a little fish there. Beautiful. I've got chrome. I'll get him back in. <laughs> Perfect. Fantastic. You can still a few more out there. Casting. We've lost the school for a little bit of time and we're just working a bit of the, the water and sort of casting distance and covering it as much like distance as we could and, and, and ground and uh, yeah one has decided he wanted to eat that and that's good. It's been a long day. We've started uh, pretty early. We're out having a crack at some uh, GTs this morning and then to Paris so uh, you get a bit weary by the end of the day, so it's hard keeping all these blokes in line that want to knock off and uh, go and sit by the bar. But it's always good just to get that one one more fish, especially on Paris, because you never know how big they can be here on Paris. And that's one of the most exciting parts about it, is you can get some, some pretty big fish. And uh, oh, he's just going to take off, he's just seeing you. And um, off they'll go. But, but they're, they're just great fun to catch, you know, bonefish, they're, uh, for a fly fisher, they're, they're an absolute dream fish. They've just got the power uh, and need you know, a little bit of you know, thought to go in. You've got to do things right to catch a, a bonefish, so they're not easy fish to catch as it just goes over there. Which makes them great fun, great fun. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. You can get their head up. Yeah, he's pretty good to go there. But he's a uh, lovely fish, or he's probably about a and a half, two pound. But an absolute beauty. And wakes you up during that blind casting as well. So uh, you might, if you've got that tool sign to, to get him out, I'll just uh, I'll get him out first. Good, well done. Very good, great little tool that gets it out. Well, that's a lovely little bonefish and uh, just gives you a, a chance to end uh, the day on a fish rather than at least you feel like you haven't just given in and succumbed to having a spell so that was pretty good so uh, i think that's all we've got time for on on uh, today's episode of on the fly on christmas island paris flats an amazing place to come and experience particularly on that uh, just after that full moon very easy to get here to christmas island for their week-long trips um, Fiji Airways fly direct from um, Nandi in Fiji and also Honolulu and uh, Hawaii as well so whatever direction you're coming in you can quite easily get here which makes it a lot easier. So uh, I look forward to catching you uh, next time on the fly.